Welcome to the Peachtree Podcast. Peachtree Learning Center is a nonprofit in Middle Tennessee dedicated to training and discipling students in all the fine arts to become excellent and skilled in order to spread the kingdom of God into the world of the arts. On this podcast, we will discuss topics designed to encourage, uplift, educate, and equip people to proclaim the kingdom more deeply in their own families and communities. Hello, and welcome to Peach Trees Podcast. We are in the middle of our um, fall semester. We've just come back from fall break and are enjoying a really uh, beautiful week here again in both of our locations, which is still a strange phrase to say, but um, it's very exciting still to see uh, the second location doing some beautiful things alongside our first location in Cookville. Um, there's lots of uh, Teachers coming back with fresh ideas after a break. It's always a refreshing time to be away a little bit and then get to come back and resume what we've been doing and kind of pointing ourselves uh, back to the theme a little bit. I wanted to talk today about our theme here this year because um, I've been sort of marinating in it over break and planning out activities and concerts and um, ways to live out our theme uh, for the rest of this semester, at least, and into the spring semester. And I wanted to talk about it because I don't think we've really addressed it uh, on this podcast much. We've mentioned it in passing. Our theme this year is being rooted. And um, we have shirts and we have a show coming up with that title. And But um, I wanted to kind of dive into what that really does mean for us here at Peachtree. And so we, we choose a theme every year, and um, this year's theme came about really, uh, we believe, as sort of a whisper of the Lord to um, try to help us point families into ways that they can help their children feel rooted. Because in this society of throwing away everything away and everything being disposable, um, shows, entertainment all being flashes in the pan, music coming and going, uh, and unparalleled, unprecedented levels of entertainment just on every level, coming and going at speed of light, literally. Um, it's a really hard concept, I think, to communicate to children how to be rooted in the middle of that kind of chaos. And rootedness is really something that God emphasizes over and over in the Old Testament, especially um, the concept of being rooted in Him, rooted in His laws, rooted in His words, and and other um, words for the word rooted, I guess, um, synonyms for that. You can think of the word steeped, or the word trained, or the word discipled. All those things can suggest different facets of that concept. We chose rooted because we wanted to talk the first part of the year about being rooted in Appalachia, which is where we're located. We're actually on the Cumberland Plateau, which is a little bit west of the Appalachian mountain chain, but we definitely uh, still receive a lot of those weather patterns here and um, definitely feel the change in altitude as we leave Middle Tennessee and get closer to East Tennessee. And there's a rich heritage here that comes from Wales and comes from Ireland, uh, a lot of music and art influences that still exist today um, in the way things are made and created here because of the land and the traditions that came here from Europe and from those early settlers uh, that lived alongside the indigenous people that were already here. So there's a, a really sweet and rich blending of those heritages here. And there's been a lot of exploration of that topic in our art classes especially. We've touched on it in our music classes and with our groups as well. And we've had some music themed around um, the concept of where uh, music that was birthed here and uh, it's been really fun to explore that with our students. A lot of people now that come to Peachtree aren't from here or their parents certainly weren't raised here. And so I think these are things that can be fresh to the entire family. And we've um, highlighted books on our bookshelf and some posts that point to that kind of heritage. Um, the next part of that theme that we are going to explore will start really in earnest in the next few weeks. And it's moving into thinking about being rooted in family and home and traditions of your family. And that's not even a popular concept either because family has become so fractured and the definitions have tried to become uh, more fluid and just less definitive in our current society. But, but that is also a concept that God really spoke to deeply when he talked about the family structure and the way he created that unit to mirror his own community uh, with a father and a mother and children, and children being the fruit of the love of the mother and father and wanting to see new um, beings created in that. And he gave us that sub-creator title to be able to get a tiny feel for what he feels in his creation of children and, and his creation of us uh, as parents. And so um, how do you help your your children be proud of their family? And not in a sinful way, but just take some... Um, 
pride is not a good word, but it's a descriptive word. Take some ownership of being part of a family lineage and understanding what a name means. And names were huge in the Old Testament. They didn't even have last names like we do, but they did indicate who people were because of their fathers. If you look at uh, scripture, there's a lot of times where you see a person named and he is the son of so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, the son of so-and-so. And And that concept is expressed in the New Testament. Every time you see a word, uh, I know one, one man that's called out is Simon Peter, and he was referred to as Simon Bar Jonah or Simon, the son of Jonah. There's definitely a heritage that comes with that name. And there was a lot of attention paid to wanting to hand down a good heritage or a good name for your family, especially for your children and grandchildren. And those are things that we can definitely make idols of and take too far. But there is a deep groundedness that can come from children understanding who they are, understanding who their parents are, understanding who their grandparents are and were, and even further back than that, understanding what challenges those former generations faced in coming and planting themselves in the space that they did. And um, giving your children a sense of I guess a sense of weightedness as a weightiness to live up to a standard that's been set by family uh, generations that have gone before is a good thing. It is part of making them a weighty human being. And, and I say that in the sense that you want them to be serious minded and sober minded for this present age. And part of that is going to come from your expectation that comes with power from other generations behind you saying, this is how we wanted our family line to look. And you transfer that to your children through Um, gener uh, through traditions you transfer that through sometimes silly things but things that communicate a sense of belonging in this particular family unit uh, can really help children understand purposefulness and being uh, grounded and understanding their own identity understanding who they are and being being um comfortable in that and even um, going forth with joy because they know that they belong to someone and something bigger than themselves. And uh, when we sit and acknowledge the fact that we all want to belong to something bigger than ourselves, God gave us families to do that first. Um, He he gave you immediately into a a family unit uh, that is supposed to care for you and cherish you and feed you and support you and love you unconditionally and give you an immediate sense of belonging into a specific specific place. And it's small. It's not big. You don't have to be born into a family of 12 to have a sense of belonging. But that sense of belonging is very deep in, sh- in small children um, if it's cultivated and if it's nurtured by parents and grandparents and even a greater family unit. Um, having big get-togethers as children with cousins is is a huge way to just help them in understand who they are and that they belong to something bigger. Um, It also, frankly, leads to humility. A spirit of humility comes from the fact that you know you're not the end-all, be-all, and you're not the... um you know, the culmination of everything, but you're actually just here as a cog to pass on what you are going to learn to the next people that come after you. And that humility is a very healthy thing. It, it, it's important for each of us to know that we have a part to play, and then when our part is over, we hopefully have transferred something worthwhile to the next person who's going to come along, and we've transferred that baton to the next generation in this case. So um, I, I want to encourage you, especially as the holidays come come near, we uh, see a lot of cynicism over holidays, and we There's a lot of joking about, you know, families coming together and getting on each other's nerves. But as parents and children, when you come together uh, in your home and take a little time, one of those days of Thanksgiving weekend, to sit around a table together, whether it's breakfast or a late dessert, spend a few minutes being thankful for each other and calling out important things in each other and and maybe even pointing out uh, traits that are similar to your parents or your grandparents that you see in your children, and just help them understand that they're part of a line, a lineage, a heritage, um, will help them really understand their place in this world and their place going forward. It can help them understand who they are and whose they are and why it's important that they're here. It also gives them a sense of, um, of just... Un- undivided, un- unconditional love um, to to know that there are people before them who loved and had children, and those children loved and had more children. It's a it's a, a, a sense of, uh, that nothing else can really give you or replace. So, I'll encourage you to do that over this upcoming holiday season, starting with Thanksgiving. Just help them be aware of who they are in a fresh way. Find a way to maybe make a, a chart of your family history and and put fun uh, facts about different relatives on the family tree and see if they can guess who was what. Uh, that was a game we played at family reunions um, when my girls were little. 
And it made them go talk to relatives they didn't know, and it also made them aware that there were some really cool stories to be had uh, from their family members uh, from another generation. And it was really great to watch those older people get to impart stories that they um, had of things that they had accomplished or things that they'd gone through with little children who were suddenly interested because we'd piqued their curiosity. Um, do that for your children. Sit down and, and find some fun facts about people in their family line and, and let them explore those things and just help them understand what rootedness in family means in a fresh way this year. Um, thoughts for the fall. We hope you have a great week and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us today. To support this podcast, please go follow us on your podcast platform of choice. And if you're interested in knowing more about the work of Peachtree, please go visit our website at peachtreelearningcenter.com for more information.